Hi three, welcome to another English lesson. Um, we know the big picture by now, we're still building up to making that information page and we're getting really close. Um, so today's lesson is actually one of my favourite lessons in year three. Um, I know you're going to love it because you get to be really, really creative. Boys, you sometimes get to be a little bit gruesome. Okay, you can completely make up um, and use your creative mind with this lesson. So really, really exciting. So we're actually focusing on another part of the information page. Um, but this time it is going to be the instructions. Okay, and this style of writing is instructional writing um, or instructions. Okay, so you're basically going to be instructing the reader how to make your um, medicine. Okay, um, so drafting a set of instructions about a medicinal plant. Now it's the same plant that you chose yesterday to write your description on. So you're using that same plant and that same illness that you chose. So mine uh, was to do with the fever. Okay, so on your example text, there is this, okay? And it says, using this remedy, a shaman's guide. It's basically the shaman's instructions of how to cure that disease. So, shamans, follow these simple steps to cure any foul fever. First, in the light of a full moon, grind up seven epepec leaves in a hollowed coconut shell. When the leaves have crumbled into a fine green powder, mix with the sap of a hundred-year-old emergent tree. Stir swiftly until it forms a thick paste. Next, add the shredded stem of a spider orchid and 14 raindrops. Stir again. Spread the mixture generously over the forehead of the fever-inflicted person. The fever will clear within two hours. Okay, so a little question here that says, what other features are in these instructions? Okay, so I've got words, for example, like first, stir, next, spread. Okay, I've got lots of high quality vocabulary in there as well. Okay, but we call those imperative verbs, so instruction, like bossy verbs, they tell you what to do. So we've got add, spread, mix, pour, stir, scatter. Um, this word bank is on the website as well, so you can use that, have it out in front of you, and you can highlight the ones that you want to use. Okay. We've also got time conjunctions, first, next, it tells you when something is happening. Okay. Um, lots and lots of words in there. You can also make up some of your own as well, that would make me really happy. Okay, so start thinking about what would the shaman need to do to your plant to turn it into a medicine. Okay, so again, with the shared writing, I've written one of my own that I'm going to write up here for you. So you've got another example, and then you're going to have a go at writing your own. Okay, so um, at the top, you will need to have shamans follow these simple steps to cure. Okay, and mine was um, several types of fever. Okay, yours can obviously be um, whatever, whatever your disease is, okay? Hopefully you can still see that so that I can write on here as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with first, okay? Because I've chosen that from my word bank and I think it seems like a good place to start. Grind seven red juicy berries inside a hollowed coconut shell okay your um your ideas can be really random and completely made up um next i'm going to squeeze okay you can write them in numbers or bullet points or whatever you'd like to do i'm actually just leaving a line but if you'd like to use bullet points or numbers that's absolutely fine next squeeze in the juice of a lizard's tail i've got my apostrophe in the right place because the tail belongs to the lizard and stir vigorously for five and a half minutes. So you can be really specific with your instructions. Um, I actually stole this bit from the example because I liked it. Once it has formed a thick paste, add 11 drops of blood from a dead jaguar, pretty gruesome. Simmer the potion on a low heat and once bubbling, transfer to an open fire and cook for 23 minutes. Okay, finally pour into the mouth of the fever-inflicted person. 
okay? So you can either use bullet points, um, you could do different lines, you're literally just doing that on a piece of paper uh, ready for us to write it up in Neat tomorrow, okay? So today's activity, this is going to help you. Um, for bronze, I want you to try and use imperative verbs and time conjunctions, okay? So the word bank that is on the website is going to help you. Silver, you're going to do the same, but you're going to try and uh, add and include some words of your own. Gold, lots and lots of interesting descriptive language, okay, related to the topic that we're doing. So that's everything for today. Um, use your resources to help you. Again, just write it on a piece of paper, uh, ready to write up and meet tomorrow. So good luck, enjoy, and I'll see you.